back. Lock my tombstones. All right. Come on. How many? Great bottom. I'm literally on the last one. Anyway, yep. March 7th. Oh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Ready. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Yeah. Piss Fountain. It's so glad Fountain, okay. but still. Yeah. Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? Not important. It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something. That oh, there's a thing there. Words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that. If it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. Yep. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you if my meager strength is required. Ah. Uh. Way hurt. Uh, Sweet, you better be good. And survive. Yep. Anyway, we're gonna get this started. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Well, I mean, it has to be conspicuous to be open. Yes. Not kind of. Sight. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Yep. You're running through this. We have a weird building, but I mean, like, nonsensical buildings in a fantasy. We have kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for me! We're not here for any pageantry. In all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh, no, they do. Of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death does not exist. Dream's promise is nothing but a sham. Three homicides? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here, in Clock Studios Theme Park. A truly grand death. You, 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 you will become the person. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Yeah, but like psychotic and off your perks kind of crystal clear. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Penico. Yeah. The entire theme park will be reduced to a shadow. You 
Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You wanna look at it? Sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Okay, keep on spouting emo poems, my friends. The game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Emo, fuck. Do you have any reason or grounds to? The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. The architect's flawed stone. Anyway, let's see how well this goes. Again. Okay, I really need to make sure that I actually keep up on the energy. Guess what? I couldn't really even attack more than once. Would have been better to attack. And heal because I, I see the hell going down. Tense on hearts, adventuring, adventuring, or stratagems. Yep. Do you know who I am? Ever see a diamond this big? Should be good. Go 
Okay, but this is going to take for- oh, I can't even- This is going to take forever, though. I- I don't- it's not that I- Wait, I'm just realizing that 78%. reason why I have Trailblazer on this is largely just for the small amounts of shield that you get and the damage. Damage and shields are good. The, I have two sustainers and two DPSs. Oh. Really? Because you know what? Fast forward. Just so I can get through this. Oh, that was bad. Oh, wait, that. Didn't know you could do that. Time for the What are you looking at? And then Bilo. Need to get everyone up to full. Ready to jam. Are, are my characters not well built enough for this? Or do I only have to do one phase of this? Since this is a bit of an absurd health bar. Okay. Not a good idea. That was an awful idea because I sh Oh shit. Right, I forget the Bailu heals. Okay, now I really need to keep track of that. Six. Okay. Going okay. Sixteen percent health. It's, it, it is starting to get a bit repetitive. It, that even with fast forward on, it's taking this long. And I do get that I probably have artifacts that could absolutely be improved, but oh six. Yeah, fair. Please let just be the one boss bar. That 
That took five minutes, I think. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to win this. Oh, that... I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, they're not dead. So, that that's something. God, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be going until... Okay, what the hell is happening? Because I should not be having this much of an issue. don't know how long this is going to last for. <laughs> Since even if it gets down to just... Since I do get that... Oh, yeah. I do have a turtle team on the simple fact that... Oh, six. Can I meet it? No, just one under. Okay. Eh, it's going okay. We luckily there aren't boss summons. So I mean I don't have to really worry about that as much as I usually would need to. heal up because, again, it's annoying that that dice attack takes away just energy. Not even, like, a large amount of energy, just a smaller amount that... Oh, uh, just that? Not good. I mean, 65% of the way. Oh, and also Trailblazer didn't get imprisoned. That's another thing. because there's Do you know who I am? And I mean luckily Bailu has enough HP that she can kind of just tank it. Not not well maybe but tank it regardless. Okay. Do you know who I am? One. 
But we're getting somewhere, and at least at this point there aren't really diminishing returns when it comes to trading damage or having more or less damage being a thing. So that's at least something. But it is still getting annoying. Just on the fact of how long this is going to take. That and the simple fact of if Serval survived until this round, she would have done so much better. Oh. Yep. I think I've heard you say that probably 20 times already. We're already 20 minutes into the video. Nearly 21 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll do this. Oh, yeah, there is no way I was getting the right amount. Yep. Yep. One. And two. I'm on guard. Let me tend your wounds. Down from above. Lance of the ready. And ult. Sure, fine. I, I already got the right amount, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm on guard. Oh, it's good that I'm doing this. Okay, 26%. To how far down? 23. Not much, but something. We are getting closer to ending this. So fucking you know what? So close. We're getting this all done. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to get. Okay. And just get everyone topped up. Mainly by Lou, since you're getting dangerously close to not having enough. Nine points, and... Oh my god, that's the first time I think Herder got less than nine. Oh, and you didn't get imprisoned at least, that's nice. Thirteen. Twelve. With ten? The ten. The nine. We are so close. Bonk. Okay. Bonk. Really? Oh, it's just getting kind of annoying now because it's like, oh no, who's gonna win? The person on 5% HP or the person who has been basically continuously juggling. Oh yeah, you, you were not making that. Well, I mean... 
Alright. No. I refuse that. There we go. Much better. Yep. Bailu's had to take that attack every time that that has appeared. And done. Bonk. Ah yes, Gates of Babylon, but it's just stacks of poker chips. Accepted by the army. Even if that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they don't need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow. Silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes. Am I the same? We still have a strand of color, but not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. Yep. And that's the reveal. Acheron, Emanator of Nihility. <laughs> I wish to mourn the departed, weeping in my grave, to swell the crossing stream. I wonder who's gonna get blamed more. Eh, I don't know. Where the fuck are you now?
wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us, we will reunite in Hikawa's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. Uh. So, is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ayak. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own path. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Mm. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Panacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. <laughs> that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Mm. Panacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacony, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface in a beautiful dream free of suffering who would want to go fishing for those secrets no one unless unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale someone already has I got the idea early on chewing on that masked fool's little hint if a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. Mm. Well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacony. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these conjectures is for the family to come clean and with the way they buttered up these outsiders it seems pretty clear their intent on covering their tracks but you don't need proof to have a suspicion and for me suspicion is enough I didn't need to find the memory zone meme I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl you don't sound very confident to me 
going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of us. That's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. Mm. In your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. That's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me? Why are we born into this world? If it's just to die. I don't think this and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. But you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. That being Dr. Ratio's thing, right? Yep. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> that is the short... <laughs> Ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. Yeah. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? 
They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day, but not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gaiathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha. And to make them proud. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gaiathra Triclops. <laughs> You still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping, keeping your, your blood, blood eternally, eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakavasha. Damn, that is really fucking nice. Oh, with hope for morrow nestled in my heart, I descend into slumber of two night until the denouement of all coming morrow kisses me. I then embrace the quiet death. This man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, in every sinking, sinking night, by every day, daring gamble. No vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life, knows no, his life knows not quietude, his fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather the tempest, one after another, to admire and shroud his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has last landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it at last landed. Thereafter, in the cradle of slumbers, deep within the sweet dream of planet festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Meanwhile, memory zone depths. You try to open your eyes, but only find blackness before you. And whose POV is this? Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds. A few minutes ago, adventuring and unleashes final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Akron, drawing her blade, and then. crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist to a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness, until a fire engulfs you in your brace. Yes, I'm me. You're awake. I say. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Uh. Just what is happening here? Yep. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truth to you. 
Yep. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. Mm -hmm. So, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. Wait, so it's actually fucking right. Not I, but that that shit was right. Labyrinth like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. Hi, Gallagher. This mansion must be a bit paranoid. Hello. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all that too often. Same fucking bird again. I never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Let's see how that goes for you. Probably not well. You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, who the fuck are you? What he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. So what is that you? Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. Where did you... Why is a shadow in your nose switching back and forth like a goddamn car light? If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Woolsey. Uh. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. 
You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Uh. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts. I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Ain't no goddamn way you're turning into Admiral. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. Uh. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind. Grit in their eyes, yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Well, well then, Gallagher's a serial killer. That's in oh yeah, and you're. Loot, find out what happens next. What the fuck? So, Firefly Sam. Coin HP lost during excuse twenty percent of max HP or if the amount of their own HP consumed twenty percent max immediately heals the wearer before fifteen percent of their max. Is this actually an okay light cone for Arlen? Uh, hold on. How long have I been streaming? Almost another goddamn hour. What the fuck? So much shit. I kinda saw it coming. Kinda didn't. Was annoying as hell. It was actually really well thought out. Just kinda. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Like, well, I mean, either way, hell, Gallic. Oh, hold on, clocks. Yes. Okay, just shut the fuck up. I need to. Oh, right, Trailblaze mission. Look at the candy on my pole. Almost have that. I don't have this. She is one six point two million. I have three point three. <sighs> 50 more. I have 78. No, uh. Cavern Corrosion? Yeah, Cavern Corrosion again. Let's get QQ better artifacts. Yeah. That, that that is just a better set significantly more easier to get yeah, challenge all right fire electric and wind and the start of it I mean once I do that I'm probably gonna just end all the stream that I've done I think I've done a total of like seven or eight hours of just streaming today Hold on. Keep up. One, two, three. <laughs> what the fuck? I set that to twenty. Hold on. Is there a nineteen on? No, there is not. There's two set. Well, there's wait. There's three. Third seventeen. You can fight it. Or rock with it. 
in this video, which I'm probably going to start. Probably a reference to something. So, again, uh, want cheers, sweet dreams, dreamer. So, either way, I was glad I didn't. I actually, I didn't speed run it. I got to actually experience the large majority of the story blind. Uh. Time is it currently? It's nine o'clock in the morning. <sighs> Either way, I need to start feeding the dog and cats. And also, how in the hell? Um, Zero blaze power. Well, almost done. I just need another five minutes. Right, that's for today. Not actually. Uh, you? Sure. And then you. Okay. Now then, while I'm waiting for this to go, I probably just need to check up my shit on my phone. Uh, on top of looking at this shit. Let's. Okay. Phone. How's everything doing today? Doing okay? Doing okay. Okay. And. Vested. Reinvested. 164. That's nice. Not the left.
Minute 30. Almost. Yeah, and then once I get this done, I'll probably just... Probably just gonna clock off for the. Oh my god, I just refer to this as clocking off because I. Well, I mean, granted, I don't make myself stay up the entire night. Not to mention, I have to be in work in th three hours. Oh, fuck me. I'm going to hate that. Hours and then eight hours from now, I'm going to be off work at five. And besides that. Oh, is there anything else that I want to do? I mean, it's also Genshin. I have to. Oh God, do not, don't. Oh, and I'm realizing I'm gonna have to do all the Genshin shit all back to back because I have, I think. Oh wait, no, it clocked over. Uh, support character. What ones we have? Hold on. Uh, Silters, lightning, confirm. Strangers. Filter, lightning, confirm. I want a character that's it's stupidly above. Uh, clear all. Yeah, you know what? Uh. Yeah, you want to know what? Sure. Proceed with caution. Let's do this. Let's see how fast this goes with the auto battle on. Probably quite fast, if I had to take a guess. Damn, Imbibrator of Linnea. The Imbibrator of Linnea is a bit slow. I mean, granted, it can make a character slower and hit it more like a fucking truck. There's a difference. Okay. Uh, those two, yeah. How far down it already well below half each? I'm sorry, what? Oh, hey, look hard. Okay, um. Eh. I'll see what that does. Either way, that's another. Well, actually, it's just that, and that's done. Besides that, that's also this done. So I got the tenth level for the battle pass and a pole I can use. For, well, no, it's probably going to be blue. I, I'd be surprised if it isn't blue. Yep. Characters, QQ is right here. I am torturing my chair. This. Um. Why do I have almost. Okay, if this rolls crit damage. Oh my god, why do I have so many of these things? Oh, f no. Because with this one, it's also arguably quite useful. Uh, oh. 
you and one two three four five six seven yes attack uh defense and it already rolled defense two three eight now if it just rolls crit rate and crit damage that's the way i'll forgive it I am not forgiving you after that, though. Seven, eight. Yes. Two on speed and one on crit damage. Already, that is an immaculate artifact. Or relic, I should say. Right. I... Okay, I, I don't care. This made it so good. Now, let's see about this one. No. Ah, uh, well, let's see how it goes. Effect hit rate. Effect hit rate. Break effect. Effect hit rate or break effect. Okay, immediately no. About you. Oh, you have a lot of speed on this one. Six, seven, eight. One. Oh, yeah, just the one. Wait, really? Then that's the one. Effect hit rate, crit rate. Eh, okay. Honestly, I can't be too upset about that. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Break effect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, right. One on crit damage. And for some reason, with this, it doesn't actually let me just hold it down. go crit damage or effect hit rate both are good effect hit rate and break effect interesting actually that's a half decent piece so i'll keep that as like a good backup uh Break effect, just good. Break, break effect again. Okay, any other? Oh, I don't know. Well, I I really need to get to just updating a effect hit rate. Okay, that's a bit better, but still. I mean, the fact I still have purples and everything still on. <sighs> anyway, thank you to everyone who decided to drop in for the stream. If you decided to click on to the stream, thank you to everyone who's watching the video. I hope you're having a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening and or good night, whichever suits you best. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.